name is Chuck. Welcome to my recently renamed channel, Chuck's Music and Musings. Be sure to hit like on this video and be sure to subscribe. It's my goal to make more and more content, especially with the item that I'm going to unbox today. Uh, there will be trombone playing, there will be ukulele playing, there will be other instrument playing, there will be equipment and gear reviews, and maybe some EDC, and maybe some travel, all kinds of stuff. So what I'm excited about opening today, I've done a lot of research on it, is the Zoom Q8N 4K. I own the Zoom Q8. Uh, it was a great little machine until the capsules broke off. It wasn't um, as strong as I would have loved for it to be, uh, but great sound. Typical of the Zoom camcorders. Great sound and video. I'm hoping that there'll be better video quality in the new version of the camera. There is paperwork, a guide. There is a windscreen. There are cables. Oh, this is the lens protector. Cables. The actual camera itself. Well packaged. Okay, I've taken it out of the box. I've learned that the lens cover was on it when it was packed and that this, what they call flare hood, can also go on, but they can't go on at the same time, so you can't leave the flare hood on it. First little thing I don't like about it. I folded up the microphone, put the windscreen on it. Uh, for my large hands, it doesn't, I'm gonna have to keep my pinky out of the way. It's not easy to hold. Luckily, I bought a camera pistol grip for it, um, and I'm looking forward to using that with it. Um, great looking unit though. There's lots of interesting features. Powering it on for the first time. The power button's behind the screen. The screen can fold forward. If you're selfieing or come back if you're shooting like this, I'm looking forward to doing more with this camera and showing you what it's all about. So I'm in a park, a little park across the street from where I work, and I'm making my first field recording with this. Um, as you can see, it does not have image stabilization. Uh, so it might be a little bumpy as I carry this around. I'm curious, the reason I chose this park is because it's good to look at, uh, but there's also a lot of background noise. I've got kids playing in a playground about a block away. I've got cars driving by me. I've got two construction zones, a block to the south and a block to the east. It's going to be interesting for me to see what kind of background noise shows up in the background of this shot. So my next field test <clears throat> is on a rooftop terrace, um, again, in a place where there's a lot of background noise. Um, Want to see lighting contrast issues on a cloudy day, it's probably not going to be wonderful. Uh, one of the concerns that I have with the specs on this unit is that it does have telephoto capabilities, but it's not really telephoto. It's cropping the wide picture down to make it more telephoto and I'm wondering if that's going to have anything to do with the quality. So this is the tightest the picture can be and then I'll do a test with the widest the picture can be. Here is the widest the picture can be and I'm going to make a wild guess that this is going to be far better image quality and that when they have to crop the picture down to go tell a photo. It's not going to be as good a picture quality, but we shall see. Uh, my final test will be to uh, check out the built-in microphones and play some music, and uh, we'll see how that sounds. 
back in my classroom doing some more testing with the Zoom Q8N4K. I want to hear how the built-in microphone sounds, so here's a little trombone playing. One of the things that I might do in a future video is to use the XLR inputs on the side of the camera and test many different types of microphones to hear how they sound with the video on the camera. If you're interested in that, please put something in the comments. Obviously, I have a lot to learn about this camera to make better work on it. Obviously, I have a lot to learn about making quality video content for this channel. But please subscribe. Please click like on this video. Please leave a comment. Um, as I said, welcome to the newly renamed channel Chuck's Music and Musings. And I look forward to making more content for you. And I hope that you will come and view it in the future. Thanks. Thank you.